Oh, victory Monday. It just feels sweeter after the Jaguars are finally back on the winning track. 23-7 to winners in London. And uh, really big game now coming up this coming Sunday. They stay in London throughout the week. Action Sports Jack's Brent Martineau continuing to bring you closer to the team in the action and the storylines that will precede Sunday's kickoff against the Buffalo Bills. That's set for 9.30 again. It's at Tottenham Stadium, so a different venue than Wembley. Our weather pattern is pretty much the same, which has been quite nice with the winds off the Atlantic. Now, if you live closer to the beaches, it's uh, been a little bit more uh, dicey at times, and we have had some coastal flooding at times a high tide, uh, but at least the breezy weather keeps the heat in check. And we do see some showers that streaming off the Atlantic every so often. Late week into the weekend, we're tracking our first uh, autumn cold front, which could usher in much cooler air by Sunday morning. There's a first alert about uh, some really nice weather that may be lying ahead. We'll walk you through the full details this week in the first alert forecast throughout Jacksonville's morning news. The president signing a 45-day stopgap budget bill into law, which ultimately gets us through November 17th, kicking the spending can down the road even further. Uh, we are likely to see uh, an immediate action as early as today, but probably more than likely Tuesday by Representative Matt Gates of Florida uh, to oust the House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy. Now, the action that he would take in order to get it done has actually never happened before in the House. So we'll see how big of an uphill climb this ultimately could be. And if any Democrats ultimately support the idea, that's going to be a storyline that we'll follow for you throughout uh, the first uh, few days of this week. On the spending front, it does not include money for the war in Ukraine, though the president says uh, we'll continue to uh, find ways to support the Ukrainian war effort. We're on top of that storyline throughout the morning. Continuing coverage from London, here from uh, Brent Martineau and the Constellation Furick and Friends Golf Tournament, the PGA Champions Tour event is back at Tim Aquana Country Club for a third year with a big, a uh, lot of attention uh, going to uh, local charities uh, from uh, Wolfson Children's Hospital to many, many others. And we'll continue to bring you these stories throughout the course of this week. Be listening for comprehensive coverage 5 till 10 a.m. Jacksonville's Morning News on 104.5 and streaming on all devices.